एवरीवन एंड माय दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इन डीआरडीओ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन डीआरडीओ एंड माय दिस वीडियो इज फॉर मैकेनिकल एंड सिविल इंजीनियर्स एंड द टॉपिक व्हिच आई हैव टेकन इज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल एज यू नो इन द इंटरव्यू ऑफ डीआरडीओ यू नीड टू स्कोर मिनिमम 70% टू पास द इंटरव्यू एंड दे विल आस्क यू वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन टू स्टार्ट विद एंड देन दे कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द डेप्थ ऑफ द क्वेश्चन and also they check your overall understanding of the topic so uh, they give you some topic and then they see all aspect of that i have given you one question here i am uh, going to explain this entire process through one question so the moment you go there and uh, they ask you your favorite subjects you say say strength of material maybe and then they ask you okay in strength of material can you tell me what is poisson's ratio and then majority of students start defining so it is a ratio of lateral strain over longitudinal strain and they observe very minute things that whether you have missed a negative or not you need to say it is a negative ratio of lateral strain over longitudinal strain then two further questions will come what do you mean by lateral strain what do you mean by longitudinal strain and why negative there so longitudinal strain is that strain which is in the direction of applied load suppose the body is subjected to axial load fx then there will be strain in x direction delta x over x that is positive because force is tensile but then there will be a negative strain also in the y direction because the y direction may the width will decrease if the body is stressed width will decrease and that strain is negative strain and that strain is called lateral strain so what is longitudinal strain not the strain in x direction it can be y direction also strain in the direction of applied load if the load is applied in y direction then longitudinal strain is epsilon y remember that and then i ask you what do you mean by negative sign sir for majority of engineering material poisson's ratio is positive though theoretical value is minus 1 to 0.5 but for majority of engineering materials it is positive now to keep the value of mu positive you need to use negative sign why because lateral strain and longitudinal strain are related in a negative way if one is positive another negative if another is negative first is positive and this ratio is negative to keep mu positive you need to use negative sign now the way you explain with clarity this thing that will decide how good your interview is once you've answered it he will go next what is the significance of poisson's ratio why do you calculate it sir we calculate the poisson's ratio to calculate the lateral strain because you know for a particular material poisson's ratio is fixed that is a property of material so suppose you say for steel poisson's ratio is 0.25 or 0.3 longitudinal strain i know to calculate the lateral strain i calculate the poisson's ratio sorry that is the meaning of it so if i know poisson's ratio if i know longitudinal strain you know universal testing machine all of you know this is used to calculate the strain and draw the stress strain diagram so if i apply fx there will be epsilon x epsilon x is longitudinal strain and if i know the mu of the material i can calculate lateral strain so basically the significance of poisson's ratio is to calculate the lateral strain okay now if you answer this question also he goes next and maybe try to know your uh, you know <clears throat> presence of mind when you do numericals these all values are already given the elastic modulus yield strength all these values are already given when you do the numericals so he will ask you do you know what is the value of poisson's ratio for steel and if while doing numerical your presence of mind is there you will answer it okay sir we know the value of this is 0.25 to 0.3 so sometime he ask you that also what is the viscosity of water what is the surface tension of this he will ask you those questions then can you compare poisson's ratio of steel and gold and then he will ask you to compare it not tell the value but compare it you know gold and silver are very very malleable materials that means stretching is possible that means if you apply force in another direction they will stretch out in the normal normal or lateral direction so if epsilon x is there epsilon y is also quite significant so see these two diagrams carefully for the same epsilon x for the same same longitudinal strain the lateral strain is more in gold and that is the reason gold and silver are used in the jewelry in the ornaments and all there is a purpose of it 
सो ही विल ट्राई टू गॉज योर थिंकिंग आर यू थिंकिंग इन दैट डायरेक्शन बिकॉज यू गैज हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर आर मेलेबल मटीरियल्स दैट मीन्स दे कैन बी स्ट्रेच एंड इफ दे कैन बी स्ट्रेच लेटर स्टेन इज देयर I am very sure you have never studied where the poison ratio of gold, nor it is required. But some kind of interpretation is to be made then and there, and you have never listened to those questions earlier. But they want to check your presence of mind whether you can link the things and provide the right approach, because the approach is something which they want to check. If you answer this also, he will ask you what do you mean by negative lethal uh, poison ratio. We know the theoretical value of poison ratio is minus one to point five. दो फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मटेरियल इट इज पॉजिटिव बट थ्रेटिकल वैल्यू इज दिस वट डू यू मीन बाई नेगेटिव वैल्यू ऑफ पॉइजन रेशो सर द नेगेटिव वैल्यू ऑफ पॉइजन रेशो मीन इफ अपन एक्स इज पॉजिटिव अपसाइलन वाई इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव एंड वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट इफ आई स्ट्रेच अ बॉडी इट विल नॉट ओनली इलॉन्गेट इन एक्स डायरेक्शन इट विल इलॉन्गेट इन वाई डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो सो इट विल गो इन दिस डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो इट विल गो इन दिस डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो बट वेर डू यू गेट सच मटीरियल so these materials are obtained you know in certain tissues human tissues also i mean they will bloat in all the direction that's the only information you should know and that is the only thing is going to ask you what if he ask you that if i give you poisson's ratio of steel can you tell me what is the slope of stress strain diagram <clears throat> you know there are four properties Young's modulus, modulus of rigidity, bulk modulus, and Poisson's ratio. Unless until I know two of these four, I cannot decode others. I need to know two of these to decode others. And the slope of stress-strain diagram gives me modulus of elasticity. So unless until I know modulus of elasticity and Poisson's ratio, I cannot calculate others. So certainly, stress-strain diagram slope cannot be calculated from Poisson's ratio. Why this question is asked? this question is asked to know whether you know this concept or not whether you can answer this or not so maximum students think that it is the knowledge which they check in the interview what is most important is <clears throat> how do you express that knowledge so that clarity is attained and that comes with the practice and you need to do lot of practice where a mentor is asking you question and you are giving answers and you get perfect in you know expressing your understanding let's prepare for interview of drdo this is a wonderful organization i'm very sure you can do really good if you practice so let's prepare with the mentors of your pdia all the very best and keep watching all other such questions thank you